we've talked about the whole process today, but we haven't really talked about the end game here, which is the most important part. Today we're bottling Caduceus Premier Passo. Uh, Premier Passo means first step. This was the first wine Maynard ever conceived here with me at, at Page Spring Cellars. And as you know, Caduceus, I've helped Maynard make these wines from the get-go. This is a really neat wine, and it's unique because it's a blend of white and red grapes. Syrah blended with Malvasia. So not only is, was this his first step, this is also a great first wine for somebody who's getting into wine. It, uh, it's soft, it's aromatic, and it's not over the top. Here's what our 10 hour day, but really the culmination of almost 16 months worth of work, all coming together in this bottle right here. April 10th, 2009. This is uh, the first time we uh, have bottled a 100% Caduceus wine from northern Arizona. All the elements that go into making up the terroir of this area, it's the limestone, the volcanic ash, the slopes, the rainfall, everything going into it. This is kind of added up to something that's far less Californian than we'd an anticipated. It's uh, much closer in profile to like a Leoville Lascasse or a, like a left bank Bordeaux. If this is what we can get out of the soil, kind of letting the soil speak for itself, then anything's possible. It's taken about nine years contemplating the areas where we were gonna plant, breaking ground, navigating local politics to even break ground, um, very hands-on, very small site. Uh, we have just under 670 vines on this spot. Uh, no one in their right mind would plant a vineyard that's less than six acres or 10 acres just because financially it's, uh, it's just as easy to farm 100 acres as it is to farm 10 acres. Uh, so to, <laughs> to farm a half an acre is just kind of uh, silly. <laughs> but the location is special. The vineyard itself is special. It's worth taking the risk, basically. This is the first bottling of Negual del Judith, Cabernet Sauvignon from uh, Yavapai County, Arizona. Judith is uh, named after my mother, Judith Marie. She passed away several years ago. She was an invalid for uh, almost 30 years. She had an aneurysm when she was about 31. I left her paralyzed on the right side of her body, and so she couldn't really do a lot of traveling, couldn't do much of anything, really. Uh, read, write, speak, walk, tell time. Uh, you know, having to live roughly 29 years in that state, just kind of felt like this was the obvious solution. I spread her ashes over the vineyard. That way, she kind of comes back in the form of uh, vines and grapes, and she gets to travel the world now see other places there's not that much of it really we our first year we're only doing about 100 cases of it I'm gonna pull the first one off the bottling line and uh, stick it away I'll probably take the second one and send it to her mother because because she'll want this she'll want this bottle um, I'm a little numb at the moment it's not uh, special day. Spending the last five years getting to this point you know, since the first day that we met and we looked over your vineyard before there were vines there, um, it was, it's been a long haul and uh, I'm definitely proud to be here with you. I'm glad we pulled this off, man.